In this demonstration, I'll demonstrate how to domain join a virtual machine to an Active Directory domain services instance. First, I'm going to create a virtual machine. So I select virtual machines. I then select add. I select my resource group, which is Tailwind RG. I give the virtual machine a name. In this case, it's 2019 AAD VM. I'm selecting my image as Windows Server 2019 Data Center. I'm going with the default size, which is a D2SV3. I'm putting in my admin account name, which I'm putting as Prime, and then I'm putting in a password. I'm going to allow RDP in, even though I'm going to use a Zero Bastion to connect to it. And here I am going to say I do have a Windows Server license. Next. I choose the default disk configuration, which is premium SSD. I go to networking. Now, here it's very important that I make sure I've selected AADDS VNet. That's the virtual network, the creation of which was demonstrated in a prior demonstration. I make sure it's connected to the appropriate subnet. And in this case, I'm allowing it to have a default IP address. I'm not turning on load balancing and I'm not putting it behind a load balancing solution. Azure Security Center is protecting this virtual machine and I here am just leaving the management settings at their defaults. On the advanced tab, I'm leaving the defaults again. Similarly, on the tags tab, I'm leaving the defaults again. I select review and create and then I select Create. The virtual machine is created. The deployment is complete. I select the virtual machine. I select it again. I select Connect. I select Bastion. It requests the Bastion data. I put in the username, Prime, and the password that I assigned to Prime. I select Connect. A connection is made using the Azure Bastion service. And now the virtual machine is signing me on as Prime. By default on Windows Server 2019, the Server Manager console opens. I dismiss the dialog box around activating Windows Admin Center. I select the local server node. I select the workgroup item. And then I select on the System Properties dialog, Change. I select Member of Domain, and then I type in my Azure Active Directory Domain Services domain name, tailwindtraders.net. I select OK, and then I need to put in the username of an account that has been configured to use Azure Active Directory Domain Services. In the previous demonstration, the account Gamma user was configured to use Azure Active Directory Domain Services. I put in the credentials Gamma user at tailwindtraders.net. I put the password for that user account in. Then I select OK. I am welcomed to the tailwindtraders.net domain, and this necessitates a restart of the virtual machine. I close all appropriate dialog boxes and select Restart Now. The server restarts and the Bastion session is closed. I then select Connect, select Bastion. In the Bastion dialog, I provide the username gamma user at tailwindtraders.net because I am now signing on with an Azure Active Directory set of credentials. I select Connect. I am now signed on to the server as Gamma User. Server Manager opens by default. And when I select the local servers node, I see that the workgroup is now set to domain and the domain is set to tailwindtraders.net, indicating that the virtual machine is connected to that Azure Active Directory Domain Services domain.